I think the top highlight is a fatal free business for three years. We're very proud of that. We're very honoured to have a fatal free business and to send every employee back to their families every day. Whenever we fly, we do a radio call to see if there's anybody in the area. Mm -hmm. And if there's anybody, they will respond where they are, what they're heading, mm -hmm. estimate time, where they're going. And then we will either look for them. If we can't see them, we will just keep radio contact until they are out of the, the zone, and then we will fly. This is for instance track number one that you logged in here. So the person will be able to see where he's in the old cycle. He will also see where he needs to go. So this guy needs to go to 996 number one. And it's also expected time for him when to arrive at a specific location. So let's say for instance the, the person is new and he's not sure where to go. So what all we, we do when we do uh, we use a GPS. So we've got a similar type of tool. We've got to call it the mind compass. So if you click on the mind compass, so she's going to interfere a bit with the operator. Did you click? So seeing that it's a remote connection now. So then the operator will be able to use the mind compass and it will highlight to you which is the best path to get it to that specific location. That's where the time gets to determine so your arriving point to that specific location. All the technology that we use to monitor the alertness shows that they are getting fatigued. They have then got the right to go to the fatigue center to undergo a program to actually wake them up again. The program will consist out of a few exercises and after that we can put the operator back on the truck to go and drive safely because the fatigue has been managed. Where we are today in Kumba, we actually really save people's lives. And the initiatives that we've got in place, I believe, takes our employees back to their families every day.